Hey, do you know you can create a light stroke motion graphics in Adobe After Effects without the use of any plugin? If you already know this, then this video is not for you. If you don't know that, then stay put. I'm going to show you how you can create a light stroke effect on any motion graphics or logo in Adobe After Effects. First, create a new composition. Feel free to use your own setting and name the composition to whatever you like and choose your own duration and then hit OK. Then right click on your timeline, go to new and add a new text in this case and type in anything you want to see. You can use your logo at this point if that is what you have. Align this to center. Then right click on the logo, go to create and create marks from text. Go to effects and preset and then search for stroke effect. Apply it in your newly generated layer. And then on the effect control panel right here, we're going to make some changes. Change the brush size to one and change the brush hardness to 90 and change paint style to untransparent. Check all mask and uncheck stroke sequentially. Move your time indicator to about any point in time that you want the stroke to finish writing, then set a keyframe for the end, and then move your time indicator back to zero and set the end value to zero. Right click on your timeline and create a new solid layer. Make sure the color is black and name this light. Make comp size and then hit OK. Then go to Effect, Generate and select the Lens Flare. On the mode right here, change it to Screen. Select your mask layer, hit M on your keyboard to reveal the mask position. Then we're going to copy the mask part to the light. Do select the G mask part and then Ctrl C on your keyboard. Then expand the solid layer, go to effect and lens flare. Then we're going to paste the mask part onto the flare center. Make sure your time indicator is at zero, then you paste. You can see that the part keyframe have been pasted to this. So we're going to do one more thing now. Hit you on your keyboard to reveal both keyframes for both layers. Then we're going to select all these part keyframes and expand it to this point. Make sure you hold your Alt on the keyboard or Option key on Mac. Select this, drag it till it reaches where your end keyframe is. Select the flare layer and make changes to the light to whatever you like. Repeat the same process for the other mask. Now the light is ready, so let's work on the stroke. Select your stroke layer, then hide the visibility of the mask. Go to Effect and Stylize, then select Glow. We're going to duplicate the glow some couple of more times and then make changes to the glow until you get the looks that you want. Right click on your timeline, go to New and add an adjustment layer. Then add a curve effect to the adjustment layer. On the RGB, select any color and pull it up. This will also depend on what you may like. Duplicate the curve effect, reset it. Then this one, we're going to just create an S curve to pop up the color. You can add even more colors if you select the stroke layer and then go to the stroke effect and set a color for it. Right click on your timeline again, add another adjustment layer. On this adjustment layer, we're going to add a transform effect 
and then keyframe the scale to however you want it to finish this up you gotta go to the three light effect layer and then you keyframe the brightness from its current size to zero for each layer that way you have the light disappearing when the stroke has finished generating and that is it guys this is how you can create a light stroke effect on any motion graphics or logo in adobe after effect without the use of any plugin if you are a member of my youtube community you can already download this uh, project file study it along with other benefits you can also download the logo animation template motion graphics template and quick access to me and this counts on all projects that you may want me help out on so if you have any question please leave a comment in the comment section and i'll reply as quick as i can until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru for motion digit studios